Did we have any pressing business we needed to do? I don't think so. I don't want to take the haste berries. The, pro the actual army stack is gonna need them in case we encounter something useful here. That's a Naga Slither. Doesn't look like the major armies have been moving here though. Question is, what are we going to do? One turn to transform the city. We have to wait. We could do a quick strike to try to get it. Uh, the guy on the surface. I still feel most of the fighting is probably going to happen here somewhere. Ancient knowledge, treasure site. We want to get that. I, I also want to get the guy who is on the surface now, though. I don't want to get, get let him get away. We could send a couple of guys after him. While a couple others go and clear this. We do have the hay spray bush up here, so that should be enough. We can also give casting support. We lost. Uh, we saw a neutral outpost here, so th 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 this guy definitely uh, hasn't established himself. It does regenerate, I'm pretty sure. We grow, right? So. Target cannot be affected by a curse. What is this? Hostile outpost of Sheltra. Mm, we have no pretty special interest pushing through here. It has a good wall, but that's all it has. We could go for the strong ancient ruins. Probably. I mean, this is a low level hero, but it's still an okay hero, and we can uh, offer a casting support. Strong is probably the weakest unexplored site. Fine. A lot of treasures here though. Uh, in preparation for our top fight, these would be very, very welcome. At least two shrines, so we can three. Undead, undead, undead. They seem to lead to here. 
alternatively here. A lot of fighting now. It's a big army, but there's nothing all that important here. City of Edix. Spirit in a ball, 11 to all. Guardian Angel. Regrow for their next battle. Hopefully, restore us health. Plus, the knowledge we will get it with here. Don't really need it. Melee. Melee, melee, ranged, ranged. Melee, melee, ranged, 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 ranged. It would make things easy though, but uh, I still don't think we need it. If they would aggressively attack me, then they could achieve something. Send army in there to cross habit. It's very tough to take down with the damage protection we have. We can also cast significant damage uh, reduction buffs. I'm thinking of not casting too much though because I want to gather up my casting points. The strong treasure side I have to take on the next turn might require extra, extra ones. Uh, you, you would really need to be tireless though, otherwise you need to take some care where you, where you go. Has to be careful with the Royal Guardians. They could be taking a lot of damage if I so if I don't keep an eye on that, they'll end up. Yeah, they have taken eight points of damage so far. So not exactly the immediate threat of dying. These guys are tireless, right? So infinite uh, retaliation is taxable. I 
go for uh, mm. static sphere, but that doesn't fundamentally solve the issue uh, I usually faced here. That you stop having retaliation attack. It would just mean that the enemy can't get so many free attacks, which is useful, but it's still not quite the solution I'm looking for. Should have taken the 80% physical damage reduction. That would have mean, mean that in combination with the damage mitigation, it's pretty much impossible to kill him in that typical, again, with typical enemies. Mr. Bone Collector needs to get within the attack range. Same with Mr. Death here. I can't really do much. You can play one of them out of the fight. We could go in there and cause trouble, but there's so many ranged attackers over here I'm not all that comfortable with it. turn will have to go. They're in a fairly tight package though, so especially the Deathbringer should be able to tie down the units quite nicely. So since the main hero against the uh, good uh, melee guys they have, what are you doing? Not all that well. Why we have the healer here? Uh, we need to avoid the royal guard getting attacked directly. This guy can cause a lot of damage. A lot and a lot of damage. Don't understand how much damage it can cause until you see it in action. Because it's once it starts getting shit done. Alright, two guys killed, an extra 20 maximum life. We could try the 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 uh, range units. Probably the axemen and the crossbow here. They have no way of killing the dead. We have absolute total awareness. We cannot be flanked by attack from behind. I'm not sure if I could effectively guard this area, but I could not flank it. So I might as well attack. You will get rid of the people here. And just tie them up. Of course I could kill him, but I don't want to give him three attacks. Be able to stun their deep guards.
Right, that's pretty much it. They can still shoot at me once, blanking. That's about it. I can heal that too. Might as well. Bringer probably could use it the most or benefit the most out of it at this point. Need to get it to cold level. And we got two new units out of that shit. I suppose they are our defensive units here. Currently undead units in one hex radius, while the target units are healed 16 health. Undead and machine units cannot be targeted by this spell. So it's a uh, attack slash healing spell. Probably especially useful if you're going uh, against a single top of some sort. Problem being, our main guy would be the one who doing it, does the attack action there, so you would not have the luxury of healing the goddamn thing. The regular infantry and pikemen get slides. I'll take this. I'm starting to have a lot of these uh, little shits, and without life stealing, they're very, very easy to take out. Also, regeneration, regrowth. Uh, no for the next battle. Another unexplored site? I'm not sure what it is. Seems like a very clear pathway leading to it. Uh, but we want to go here. This was highlighted by the pond we visited earlier. So what is that? This looks like a shrine type of a thing, maybe a mana tree? There's a crystal tree, treasure site, holds items. Mana. Uh, might not be a horrible thing to take. Uh, we would be also interested in the mana very much, so we're using more than we are really giving. Ghoulify the signal. What are you doing? Getting more gold, I guess. Closer to 20 gold each turn. We are heavily in the negative. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay. Part of us went there, the rest of us can. We could go for the gold now. It's not like I don't have a use for it. Uh, 
I'm just kicking the ass. We have an undead city. That doesn't even have a wall. Yeah, I'm wondering how much should I really start investing in this. On the positive side, we are getting enough gold now that upkeep is no longer going to be an issue. Harvesters and embalmers is really much the mandatory structures before you can have any hope of doing anything with these. Otherwise, the population upgrades just take so long. Ooh, horrors. Crossbowmen deal additional to physical damage. Stone walls in dwarven cities now generate 10 production. Uh, I'll take the. Damage. I might have to rely on these heavily in the front line. This burst requires the most casting power, likely. Four tier twos, and we would be mass cursed. Depends on how they act. If they aggressively come after me, then I'm phone. Although the environment is really good, they only have one range attacker after all. Ah, two. Uh, we have decent spells. The question is, who do we want to get rid of? It's either the Bard or the Apprentice. Bard. It's a... Uh, attack is decent and he has the charm of the movie, which is a nightmare for me. Repair I also have it. We have a backstep ability. Nope. Would get at elite level. Fair enough. A likely attack. If we have to sacrifice a unit to win this test, this is fine. The Berserker or Orc version is uh, tougher because he has the War Cry ability, will do more damage. Probably immune to charms. We do have the spear protection.
I do way too much damage. Way, way too much damage. Tough spot. Bard will die, which is fine. Thing I can still do. Not sure how much it'll help, but might as well do it. Well, we Parts are dead. die, but so will they. Now is how we're gonna kill the apprentice, and I don't think we can. Ella would have had, will have to survive this round, otherwise it's impossible. Yeah, they got lucky. Well, they shot at the target I did not expect. Plankton. Rather, I must plankton. But the scout will die, but it'll skill a victory here. I wouldn't say you took this, but we achieved everything we came out here to achieve. And she might be again a little bit more useful. True sight. Oh, I want that. Because I have a huge vision range. Well, significant, significant vision range. But I can't see invisible creatures. Vision range plus two. Now it's true so with true sight included. A cable seeing concealed and invisible units. Turn on dead is nice, but not that useful. This spell magic is nice. Uh, what spells to take? I think buffing our own survivability at this point might be the worthwhile thing. Vision range upgrade further. That.
Still, shouldn't my vision range be larger? I mean, what if I remove that? It is what it is. We'll more or less meet up here at the correct time. Right. Mm -hmm. Hmm. No point giving them mercy, the experience is still useful for a lot of our guys. Uh, doubles the mana cost of spells cast. Dampen field. Does not prevent it though. Uh, I was thinking it might, it sort of looked like there was some kind of a magic field acting here. I was expecting it to be a shock shield or something equally. Dampen field is sort of. Phantasm Warrior would be a great thing to have. Yeah, just like that. Simply because we have no real units that we can leave on the, to the city that we're just bypassing. And Phantom Warrior would sort of fit that deal quite nicely. I don't even recall what we did from it. Exploit despair. So more lower the morale, the more damage you do. Negative emotions in its target. Plus two holy plus one cold extra damage for each degree of low morale in its target. And we probably start to have things that uh, drop their morale further. So this will work very well with the main hero. This bringer Metallion, Shadow Step. I think we already have this. On another guy. It's it's not bad though because it it's pretty much the only ability besides teleportation that ignores the attacks of opportunities. If you try to fly away from a bad situation you still get hit very badly. But uh, 300 gold go a long way right at this point. We have multiple new cities that need construction effort and we're still negative in the gold. So I'll take the gold in this case. You will go and defend the city. And while you're going there, might as well pick up the That's uh that's extra troops. Uh, there's also bones there, so they could be enemy units spawning when we try to go there. Hopefully they are, because I could use more bone collectors too. Right. Possibilities. Another chance at serious fighting here. We can attack with uh, single units, or hopefully uh, provoke them to attack us. Spider baby, spider baby, spider baby, spider queen, spider queen, spider 
that is not a trivial fight to have. That's six webbing capable units, so I'd like them to initiate things here. Wish to aim for these gold sites first. Although this looks like there's something behind here too. Yeah, we can probably get all of them. That should keep me going for let's say the next four or five turns. Everything's producing something. take casualties. We were lucky. Do we have a possibility of getting new troops? Not really. Cast all that much, uh, except for the beast or something. This is a beast or beast or total fight. We are spending mana, mana on construction too, so we're actually on a downward trend with that. They should have teleportation spiders, at least one, so that'll probably attack first. One teleportation, two teleportation, and the rest cannot do shit. Might be better off withdrawing a little bit. <laughs> Especially at the center where the two dread spiders are coming in. Oh, the spider queens rather. Can't really do much about the teleportation. Oh fuck, I'm gonna use that right. You forget it because you can't use it the uh, cold lighting on the first turn. to getting wet, but that's fine. There's no way we can uh, entirely avoid that no matter what we do.
break their guards. Let's be fairly vulnerable. And uh, the initial strike with the other spiders probably webbing at those. Mostly ignore those. get lucky with immobilization attacks too. Or frozen attacks. But we can do flanking attacks too. I'm gonna try to freeze the Vampire Spider Queen, probably won't work, it's worth a shot, it has a decent chance of success, 1 in 3. Yep, so it's, we don't have to worry about him. If we get lucky, we'll get a petrification attack. So those two are out of fight. There's two more, no, three more spiders left. We still have a lot of good units left to move, so, so I might be able to achieve quite a bit. I'd like to clean up the battlefield as much as possible. With the spider queen. Or stun attack. Stun attack, no, yeah. Chance to get rid of one or two. Got rid of one. So there's really two spiders to be able to do something. And we have a reasonable amount of use. One remaining. Do flanking attacks on it. So I want to do flanking attacks. Yeah. I'm not sure if I can kill it though. But even if he can do follow up attacks, he's not exactly in a great concern to do them anymore. Went better than expected. Ah, there's I think three enemies to left, but they should not be able to do anything yet. You need to get the gold medal. Mm. 
Might as well take experience for Sam Hilt, although we can get it through heals too. Mostly everything, everyone's looking good. So we don't even need to heal really. Might as well, I could go for threes. Keeps me experience. Still could give the kill to someone else. Just not sure which ones. A uh, Prostling Guards would be nice. Just so we could get extra hit points on them. Uh, I killed the Spider Queen through exposure. No one gets experience from that. Shit. Still, it helped a little bit. Vampiric Hunger! We got that thanks to that fight. Instantly rebuilds target race city and transforms its population into undead. Not bad, but I'm not sure if I want it. We can very easily turn them into undead already, and that I wouldn't have to pay any kind of mana cost to do it. Inflict curse and plus two physical damage until the end of combat. Only cost 25 mana too, so this is something that could be cast at the start of the fight and it wouldn't really drain us too much. Alternatively, we should go for additional production, but we have we basically have the armies we need very likely. We don't have a huge need to build some kind of an extra attack force at the moment. So it doesn't make sense for me to invest in production buildings and all that. It's just a huge drain that might pay off in like 10-15 turns. Assuming that I still have any interest in doing anything at that point. So I, I don't think so. I don't think that's a smart thing to do. It's preparing to play a fighting situation that might never happen if we play our cards right. So, anything else? Uh, friendly spider. Shrine of the Queen of Spiders, Shrine of the Earth and Mother. Guard break. Uh, what is that? The light protection? Wall climbing, webbing touch, and naturally getting access to that will uh, get up, port us other bonuses. <sighs> but only one army can take the benefits. So I want to leave something behind. Uh, it, I don't think so. I mean, they might retake this, but what do I, I... I don't have much to lose, even if they do. I already see this earlier. No, it was this, right. I was wondering, can I actually go there in from this location? I'm assuming there's some kind of a trap with the bones, maybe? And then the fight itself. Explode this dungeon for units. Right. No need to produce units in cities. Okay, let's go for the known gold piles. <coughs> oh, excuse me. God damn it. Um, there might be a 
limit to how much we want to break these walls. I don't want to create additional attack paths to this area. It is a fairly sen central area for my defenses. Might not be able to avoid it, so if that happens, that happens. But uh, doesn't mean we can't be at least a little bit cautious about it. Group is back together again. A little bit weakened, but not in a bad condition. Next up, new spells. New spells. Ooh, is this is a uh, mercenaries, right? We might be able to buy two additional units. Which reminds me, I think I'll go there now because there's a limit to how much you can buy each turn, like one. So. I might I'd like to buy the first unit before we end before we fire it for the knowledge side and then buy the sixth unit on the follow when we start moving to the west again. Lesser earth element. Double crap. Taking yeah. Can't die anymore. Not that it matters. A for effort, I guess. Ah, still can't fly. Twenty-nine. How much vision do you have? Probably has uh, some kind of underground vision thing, yeah, that will explain that. We could add the extra vision upgrades to this guy while we're underground at least. That would be ma massively useful. Is that it? That is it. I'll leave the next turn as our last. You even have wall. Yes. Research. Domain radius. Domain radius is uh, slightly useful, but the research would be the main thing. Alternatively, the Great Temple. Not that expensive, and the benefits are much greater. Really. Increased maximum mana and mana income are the highest priorities. Research is nice. I want it. But I also have other sources from it that produce it. What do we have here? We have two range units. Not good. It's a big investment to start producing units. Shrines also add, add to the population increase, so I'll start with a shrine. Right, first things first. Ooh, enemy armies. A uh, serious army. Can't ignore that. Uh, Crossling Mammoth Rider, that's actually nice because it's a living thing. Also, it's a tier 2 unit for us. How about an archer? You know, it's always been a tier 2 unit. Not sure why I thought it was a tier 3, because it's tier 3 in um, Age of Wonders 2.
What does this army need? It has good offensive power. So range units might not be a horrible investment, but they're also incredibly expensive. Razor bows over human archers. Razor bows are slightly better, slightly more doable. But this has 80 life, so it's easy to keep alive. They have a lot of melee coming our way. It has one swarm darter and a crossbowman, but the rest is melee, so we could probably use the range attackers to good effect. Uh, halfling jesters have the benefit of dazzling the target, so they couldn't retaliate. I can't afford really the Mammoth Rider. 150 gold per single jester isn't exactly cheap either. But I feel like I need something. We do not want to force the issue now. We need to heal ourselves. Might actually go for that first. We're in no hurry to have this fight, but if they continue to come closer, I'll have it. I have the spellcasting capability to kill them. That's not that's not a problem. The Succubus plus 4 Assassin's group. We've had this fight before with a less experienced group. Be somewhat careful. I think we're barely well equipped for this, especially with the extra units we have this time. We have a healer to watch out that he doesn't get murdered. And, um, Death Ringer support, extra casting support. Assassins are a main problem, and against the um, Arvik, they're terrible. Arvik doesn't care about their blight damage, and he is mostly new to their uh, physical damage too, so he doesn't give a shit. Try to disable as many of these assassins as possible. So there's only one that would be able to still act very well. They they can have the I don't know, these don't have the sprint ability or what is it? No, they don't get it at all. So they can't just sprint out. They'll have to fight before they can. One has guard break. We are getting a gold level bolt collector out of this, turning it into a fierce immunity.
try for another assassin. Hyatt assassin would be almost guaranteed to succeed. And we are looking for new troops here, so it would be in line with what we want to do. Royal Guard could use a little up too. But that's, that's a side issue, we should not get distracted by that. Securing the necessary kills is uh, much, much, much more important. High L Storm Sister is a good unit to have at Gold Low. Very good, in fact. I'll take the reward because we need a uh, range defensive unit in some of these outposts. Especially this. This is uh, in, at a very central location, I feel. Yeah, inflict stun on gold level. At that point, it's this is an incredibly powerful defensive unit. positive on the money front. And we're getting new stuff continually. Yeah, this city has a respectable defense now if we just can get a wall in this place. A wooden wall will do, but some kind of a wall. Decent fighters, two of them, and three okay range units. They'll have to send us decent army stack to take care of it. They can do it, but uh, it's not going to come without sacrifices, I guess that's more or less the point. Um, it's unlike... ooh, there's uh, treasure sites here, not sure if I want to go there. I mean, the point at this point isn't to scour every little detail of the map, we are not in that sort of a position, it's to win this one way or another. And I think I will... no, 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 I'll click enter and see what happens. Especially here, are they going to attack forward or are they going to withdraw? Yeah, they have additional stacks. They're definitely coming forward. But we have the animal horde. We can throw that in their face. So more or less just extra activities for us. I don't see anything particularly dangerous here. I just can't see most of their army. Or can I? They might have moved the same troops in multiple uh, groups. Also, we need to get to where the hell this teleporter is. Because I see new troops popping out of there. Carl won the battle against Neutral's Watchtower. Fine. Congratulations. No, he actually won himself. He is level 22 Lich Necromancer. He's terrible at melee, raises corpses, heals undead, greater reanimation, lesser reanimation, control undead, cause fear, invoke death. Oh, he has invoked death. Isn't that fun? <sighs> raise the race, governance, and leave things like that. Tigran Sun Guards and Saber to Chariots gain health. Settlers, okay, yeah, I'll take that. I have a couple sun guards somewhere, I'm pretty sure. 